Hey everyone, Colin here. Today, Adobe has released Lightroom Classic 2023 as bristling with new features. Let's have a look right now. So we're gonna use this photo I shot of Lena and let's have a look at the amazing AI tools we've got for retouching faces. So let's go to the masking tool and you'll notice at the top here, there's some new options and we're gonna look at those in a second. But what I wanna focus on right now is notice people. As I roll over, it selects her. If there's more than one person in the photo, it will see that and we'll get to that in a second as well. So let's click on the person. And now it has the ability to automatically select different things. So here's the entire person, which is what we're seeing. We've got the face skin. And notice I'm not doing a typical front on photo either. So this is not so easy. It can also do the body skin. Look at that. Eyebrows, eyes, sclera, eye sclera, whatever that is. That's the whites of the eyes. Iris and pupil, lips, teeth, and hair. Now this is super useful. Now, why don't we start with the skin? So we're gonna do the face skin, and I also wanna include the body skin. And we could create separate masks out of these if we wanted. In fact, why don't we grab all the ones we want? Let's grab these, let's grab the iris and the pupils, the eye sclera, sclera does anyone know what sclera is let me know in the comments i mean obviously we know it's the whites of the eyes but anyone heard of that before um let's do the teeth and the hair all right so those are wonderful so we can do those in a group and that means when i make the adjustments all of these will adjust together or we can create six separate masks and we're going to do that we're going to create mask and there we go so we're going to start with the face why don't we soften the skin and the way to do that of course is the texture and we take that to the left that softens the skin Beautiful. Don't do clarity, negative clarity. It looks weird. And now we can do the body, which I think is so good because a lot of times retouch people retouch the face and they forget about the rest of the skin. So let's take the texture. We can drop that down just a little bit as well. But another thing that can be interesting is sometimes the face can get super bright when it's not lit well. And then the rest of the body can be dark. So it's a good way to brighten those and even them out a little bit. All right, what else we got here? We've got the that word and um, now here's the thing these and teeth are actually going to be pretty similar what you want to do let me zoom in here I want to show you something so when you are whitening the teeth and the whites of the eyes you do not want to increase brightness if you do that they're going to look like a demon they're going to be glowing um, unless you want them to look like a demon but otherwise what we're going to do is just take the saturation and watch this we just reduce the saturation see how that gets rid of the redness now i see there's some little bits in there i picked up that we didn't want to be in there well, like we don't want that part uh, the tear duct maybe is what they call that it's probably an official name for it too i'm terrible with medical things just so you know so what i want to do is i'm going to go in here and i am going to subtract from that selection and i'm going to use a brush and then we just put back the color because that that does belong there there we go so any of this, if it's not quite perfect, you can just use that brush and you can fix it. Okay, let's move on. What have we got next? Ah, this is a good one here. The iris and the pupils. Now what we want to do, or at least what I do, is I go in here and I use the shadows. And all I do is open up the shadows. See that? I don't brighten it. I don't do anything. I open up those shadows and it just brings out some of the natural eye color a little bit when it gets in shadow because of the uh, eyelashes. These are fake eyelashes. Uh, so let's go here and we're going to do the teeth. So let's hit the space bar, bring up the teeth. We're going to select the teeth here and we want to whiten those teeth. So we're going to take the, no, we're not going to take the exposure. Same thing we did with the eye whites or scruplers or whatever they're called. We're going to take the saturation and reduce it. Look at that. As we do, look at that. It makes the teeth look super white, but it's maintaining the natural tonality and they're not looking weird and glowing. All right, so if we go over here and we look at this, just a little bit of work, we've got the before and the after. And of course, if you're like, hey, those teeth are way too white, no big deal, no big deal. Just bring saturation back a little bit, dial it in. And that's how you can retouch a person. One little thing I haven't done yet is the hair. So let's go in here, we're gonna grab the hair. Now, what are we gonna do with the hair? Maybe I'm gonna do the same thing with the shadows. Let's open up a little bit so we can see a little bit more color in there. And then don't ever sharpen here. I see people do that. Why would you do that? It just makes it look dry and brittle. You want it to look smooth and silky. So once again, we're going to take our texture, crank it a little bit to the left. Look at that beautiful silky hair. And that's how we would retouch a face using all these new face masks. All right, time to move on. Let's have a look. I remember I did mention 
that we could select more than one person. All right, so let's select just these two people and we're going to edit them together. So let's see, there's person four and then we're gonna add a person. So this is the guy that runs the Eve's Movie Ranch. He looks a little bit like a, um, the dude. Um, so I'm gonna select him and then we're just gonna select both of these people. Let's do them together. So we're gonna hit continue. I don't wanna create two separate masks and notice you can go in there, you can literally you know, you could do both their faces together. So if you have a bunch of people, you want to do the same kind of retouching, you could do that all in one hit. Really, really nice time saver. And of course, there's presets that can do that and you can create your own. So let's create create mask. And this is going to give a mask of these two people. I could go in and see them. There they are individually. But let's go here. We're going to choose that. And now what I want to do is maybe just make them a little bit brighter. So let's hit the exposure so we can make these two guys pop. And, you know, essentially, there we go, before and after. So you can do anything you want with them. Now, why don't we select the background? Maybe we want to blur this background a little bit. So let's grab the mask. And uh, what we want to do is actually create a new mask. And now we have the ability to select background. We used to have to select the sky and then the subject. And then you would like literally just inverse those to get the background. Now we can just choose select background. There it is. Sends the people. This guy's jacket's getting picked up a little bit. Let's what do we want to do? Add or remove? We want to remove. So we're going to click on here, subtract, grab that brush, and we can paint that away. And it doesn't have to be perfect for what we're doing here. In fact, let's make it a little bit bigger. And there we go. So we can just touch that up. Same with here. And uh, yeah, we're good. All right. So what we want to do is maybe we want to blur the background. Seems we're doing a lot of blurring today. So we're going to take our texture, pull that a little bit to the left. Look at that. We can blur it. We can just soften it a little bit. I don't want to go too far, just a little bit. And maybe pop the exposure up a little bit. Look at that. Look at that before, kind of dull. After we've got it, we, looks a lot better. All right. What else have we got? Let's look at another selection, which is pretty amazing. And let's just create a new one. We've got the person that's selected, but we're not going to use her right now. What I want to do is I'm going to use the object selection. This is also brand new and it's pretty amazing. So I can make a selection for a rectangular tool or I can paint. So why don't we paint? I want to get this picture frame. So I'm just going to paint around this picture frame roughly with this. Try and avoid your fingers. I'm sure we're going to get them and then release and look at that that AI actually selected that. Now, if I wanted to add that little bit in there, I just hit add and then, well, why don't we? Let's do add object and there we go. There we go, we've added that, beautiful. All right, so now if we wanna look at that beautiful selection around that object, this is just something we could never do before in Lightroom, it's amazing. So now I could play around with the exposure and say, hey, I wanna make this frame brighter. I'm gonna make it white. Boom, look at that, amazing. All right, so let's have a look and we want to do something else. Let's grab our little mask tool and we want to create a new mask. Once you've got a mask created, you don't go there. You add to it with this area. Let's select the sky. And I just want to pull the exposure down a little bit. Oh, look at that. Maybe recover our highlights. Oh, look at that. There is some life in there. And essentially that's our masks. Let's look at something else. Next new feature is content aware remove. So what we're going to do is go into the healing brush. This brings up a panel and then here's our content aware remove brush here. We can change the size and opacity. So why don't we start and this is a great picture, but we don't want this guy here. So let's get rid of him. And uh, let's go here. There we go. And just give this a second. Now, if you don't like what it's filling it with, we can actually hold in the control or the command key and draw a selection and say, hey, I want to use this as the source. And it will update and that will clean it up. All right, let's do the legs on the bottom here. Let's grab this bottom part. And just give it a second. Not bad. Let's just clean that up and I'm going to use another one of these areas up here. And let's grab another one on the side. So it's not quite as good as the one in Photoshop, but you can definitely get the job done here. 
Let's try the content aware remove with the dog. We've got the dog here in the middle of our picture. Well, he's not in the middle, he's on the edge, but it's not really adding anything. So let's just go in there, select it, and bingo. Just like content aware fill. I missed a little bit there. Let's do that. Works very well for these large areas like that. So also check out my other video on the brand new features in Photoshop, and we'll also dig into these a little bit more in Camera Raw. So let me know in the comments underneath, what do you guys think of these new features? Obviously, I'll be doing more in-depth tutorials on these in the future. Uh, if you don't want to miss those, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.